A city run clinic in the Druid Heights neighborhood has been flagged by the city's inspector general. Its investigation revealed rats and other unsafe conditions. WMER 2 News' Dave Detling got a hold of pictures from that report. He's talking to former clients who are speaking out. That report highlights issues like rats, trash like this on the floor. Community members, they question what type of care people are receiving, especially when you see outdated placards like this still on the building. What was found on the inside of the Druid Sexual Health Clinic in one of Baltimore's most vulnerable communities is enough to make your stomach turn. It's not good, it's not good. We're talking dead rodents and insects in a supply room, damaged and missing ceiling tiles because of water leaks, plus an overflowing dumpster outside that's attracting rats. I'm surprised when I said about the rats. Yeah, hey, I was you knew I knew, I knew. D is a former client. He didn't want to show his face, but is speaking up to add to what the Office of the Inspector General's investigation found. He says bedside manners are also subpar. What kind of vibe do you get? Nasty, trying to get off work. Get in, get out? Yeah, I get there, yeah, yeah. That's how, that's how they be, you feel me? Go sit over there, take your number, give you the clipboard. Do you feel valued? No. The investigation dating back to December of 2020 also found issues with the building's HVAC and thermostats. The OIG says improper temperatures impacted rapid test kits for HIV and hepatitis C. As for the rodent issue, the city's health commissioner wrote pest control lapsed due to delays in payments. In a newly released statement Wednesday, the health department reiterated the 60 year age of the building and that it's working through the contractor permitting process. Not good enough, says Baltimoreans. I'm gonna say it like this, right is right and wrong is wrong. We need to do better. We need to do better for the people and for the city. There's a lot, I don't even come here no more. And of course, the city says it is working to address these problems. Of course, it comes with a major price tag. Reporting from the 1500 block of West North Avenue, Dave Detling, WMAR 2 News.